Hey friends, and uh, I'm 8ball, and we are back with another No Request video. Um, today we are continuing from where we left off in the last one. Um, so in the last one we basically just kind of got introduced to the characters, like the story, what's going on. And now we are actually avidly looking for other people to add to the amulet. So if you haven't watched the first video, I recommend you do so. Otherwise, you might be a little confused here. Um, and that'll actually be in a link up in the cards. Or you could probably find it in the playlist at the end of this video. Um, but yeah, so um, we just ran up to... Um, a lemonade stand after some person rudely bulged, barged past us. <laughs> um, we just dropped off um, Bella and Hercules at the um, uh, stunt show that they're going to. And so, yeah, let's continue. As you step out of the quaint stand, you see a cool picture of lemonade seated upon the small shop's counter. Stacks of cups are organized neatly at the pitcher's side and a well-crafted banner is still hung on uh, upon the stand's front all for for all to see it's it reads lemonade to advertise what is being sold <laughs> yet before you can even take a breath two small figures have already bounced up from behind the stand's table eager to grab your uh, your attention oh my goodness they're so small and cute i love them holy shit <laughs> Greetings and salutations, my fellow machine. Yes, yes, hello. Uh, hello. Sorry, you startled me there. Who are you two? No worries, none at all. Welcome to the lemonade stand. Yeah, you're reading it right. Lemonade. Picture us as a pair of helpers to assist you during this game. Oh, cool. But it, but with a pinch of sour feedback. Game? Never mind that last part. My name is Rain, and I highly doubt my partner here needs an introduction. Well, a name could have helped, but looking at the strange cat's red, uh, red poncho gives you a good idea of what you'll be calling him. Poncho Kitty! What are you- <laughs> This is great! What are you doing in the city today? I'm actually on my way to the market right now. The market? Oh, my good sir, that's such a waste of time compared to your mirac to our miraculous sales. Yep. <laughs> Nothing compares to our superior sales strategy. Is that right, my dear friend? <laughs> that's right. <laughs> well, I need I need a voice for Poncho Kitty. I definitely need a voice for Poncho Kitty. Well, that was a pretty compelling argument. <laughs> My only question, uh, how are you keeping the sky around your stand so blue? The city skies are always nearly colored like a pink sunset. You f you foolish physic- your foolish fig physics can't apply to us. Why follow the rules when you can make your own? Agreed! <laughs> it needs- it needs to be like squeaky or like wicked deep. <laughs> I love Poncho Kitty. <laughs> uh, okay. I've seen enough magic for today, so I guess I'll, that's all I need to know. Good answer. Now, are you going to be trying our delicious lemonade today or not? Um, yes. Let's do it. Of course. The robot grinned before pouring you a cup when he sees... Before pouring you a cup, when he sees they seem to be out of ice, he turns to his partner. PK, would you mind? Nope. A sudden flash of light takes you by surprise and you stare in shock when the small cat seems to have vanished. Yet only seconds later, another burst of light appeared and the cat was back where he had been standing, ice cube and paw. Here you go! Thank you, darling! <laughs> the robot drops the two cubes of ice into the drink, adding a small pink paper umbrella before sliding it over to you. I believe this is yours, Morpheus. Isn't pink... Pink is your favorite color, after all. How did you know that? And how did you know my name? <laughs> oh, that's our little secret for now. But you really, but you really need to get going. <laughs> but 
you really need to get going. The player might get bored and you might, you haven't even met Jack yet. What? Who's? Sheesh. Is the dialogue really the same in both options? Talk about lazy writing. Is it really? <laughs> you couldn't wrap your mind around it, but considering you were talking to a god with your new necklace, it's best not to question these things. Every game needs the omniscient, friggin' cocky ass <laughs> robot <laughs> and poncho kitty. <laughs> Uh, pens in a necklace. Sheesh, he never told us about it. I think he's- I think it's pretty. <laughs> Are you reading my mind? <laughs> Honestly, I'd be offended about this, but my character sprite doesn't really allow that kind of movement, so I guess I'll forgive him for now. <laughs> yep! <laughs> I- what? How? No time, get out of here, come on now. Have fun, we'll see you in a bit, Morpheus. <laughs> they hand you a glass of lemonade, despite you not really wanting it after this encounter, yet when you turn back to see the odd duo, but when you turn back to see the odd duo have vanished, you have no choice other than to continue on your way towards the city market. That was an iconic experience for me. <laughs> You finally step into the market, happily humming to yourself as you look around for any possible suspects. The market is usually bustling with people, so it surprises you when there's almost nobody to be seen. A soft pink glow from the city outside dances around the walls as you approach the main entrance before coming to a halt in surprise. Hmm? What's that? It seems you have gone longer than you thought because you can't seem to remember the strange blockade in your path before, from before. The front desk is now accompanied by a short wall and a metal gate guarding the entrance. Oh, I hate those things. They're like, they always hit me. <laughs> Unsure of what to do, you push on the odd gear, gear like door only to huff in frustration. This leads to no success. Also, is Morpheus wearing a fedora? <laughs> I just now noticed it. <laughs> is it locked? Weird, this used to be a public building. Oh well, I guess I'll just have to climb over it. <laughs> you decide to approach the issue with a very professional and decent manner. So of course, the most appropriate action to take is to raise your leg as high as your gears allow, attempting to take a big step over the blockade. And my gods, it looks absolutely fabulous. Who needs leg day with an amazing show of power like your own? Such beauty, such grace, such... Hey! Hey, excuse me, sir! Huh? Please refrain from climbing over the metal guards. You have to, you're supposed to type in your membership number to enter. Oh fuck, there's a membership number? A strange man appear, uh, seems to have been calling for your attention from the front desk, so it's a shock you didn't notice him until, this, uh, until his approach. You slowly lower your legs back to the floor, so much, uh, much to your disappointment, and glance back towards the front desk out of curiosity. P plenty of papers and office supplies litter the counter, the countertop, such as pencils and, and oh wow. Is that really your name? I beg your pardon? The name tag. It says... <laughs> he patiently waits your reply as you st stiffle another chuckle. Jack... Jackson? <laughs> Rip? <laughs> oh yes, Jackson is my fiancé's lovely last name. She's a brilliant professor, especially with robots. <laughs> That's so cool. My mom's a scientist, too. Maybe she could meet your fiancé sometime. I'd love to see the robots she's built. Well, considering I'm one of them, I'd say her robots are a sight to behold. Huh? Wait, you're a robot? Of course, darling. I was built to be her loving boyfriend, after all. I can't believe we'll be married soon. <laughs> Although I prefer the term android. <laughs> considering I have a much more human and human-like appearance truly is a shame knowing how horrible all humanity is. 
Humans are just so selfish, cruel, greedy, and terribly rude. I think he's a bad guy. <laughs> they don't care about us machines. They never have, and they never will. Sometimes I just wish I could grab my hideous co-workers by the neck and get a good tight grip to suffocate their pitiful breathing patterns, and then... Uh... Oh, my, pardon me, I seem to have gotten a bit carried away for a moment there. Uh-huh. But those disgusting humans are nothing like my beloved Cecil. Is that is that how you spell it? Is it pronounced Cecil? Cecil? I don't know. Um, it's as if she's a perfect machine, like me, only born into the wrong race of advancing age in technology. Of this advancing age in technology. So that's why I'm so lucky to be marrying her, the love of my life. Isn't that all just wonderful? Oh, uh, yeah. You're getting married to your creator? <laughs> what? what was that part about your coworkers? Um, fuck. Um, oh, it's one of these. You're getting married to your creator? What was that part about your coworkers? <laughs> Anyway, that's the one I clicked. Anyway, uh, do you have any questions? Or it's Morphus. What a lovely name that is. But as I was saying, is there anything I can help you with here at the desk, darling? Why do you hate humans so much? Your fiance must be quite the gal. Oh uh, man. Um. Ah uh, man, I don't know what to choose. Let's think. Um, why do you hate- I- I kinda- mm, which one should I choose? Um... Your fiancé must be quite the gal. Oh, absolutely! She's kind, intelligent, patient, gentle. I can't think of one part of her I don't love. She's perfect in my eyes. But I suppose I can be pushed to the side for now. I'm curious about you, Morphus. What's- what's on your mind at the moment? We could discuss anything ranging from your own love life to the boiling hatred of humanity we may share. I guess I don't have much hatred for humanity. My mom is human, and I like her a lot. I don't think she really understands me that all that well, though. She wants me to be a killing machine. Then let's stick your love life. T let's stick to the love life topic. Why, shall we? <laughs> Well, I had a boyfriend when I was my mom's security unit, but that was only for a little while. After the, uh, incident I had with an old friend, he acted pretty rudely about the whole thing. So I cut him off after that. His name was Fletcher. He's human too, but his hands got cut off and replaced with metal ones. I never knew why, because he never wanted to talk about it, but I'm glad I haven't been around the city after that. He likes to wander around the city doing his street art, so I would be anxious about bumping into him. Bitch, I would be too, like shit. <laughs> Did you say his name was Fletcher? Yeah, why? Darling, he's been missing for months now. I used to know him fairly well because of his frequent vis visits to this market for cans of spray paint, but something happened to him a while back. Oh no, I hope it wasn't because of what I did. I wouldn't worry yourself over it too much, he's a tough teen. He'll probably be running around again soon enough. Maybe then you could talk about whatever happened with him and yourself. Uh, with him yourself, okay. I guess you're right. Uh, at least you can now look for other guys, right? What? Oh, don't play dumb with me, Morphus. With a fashion sense like yours, uh, to match a charming persona, I bet you'll find someone new in no time. And whichever guy or gal you end up with will definitely be a lucky one. Thanks, Jack. That's very nice of you. <laughs> That's no problem at all, darling. <laughs> now, I believe I've wasted enough of your time with all this nonsense. You just enter your membership number into the device, and we can send you off to shop. Uh, I don't have a membership. Are you asking for my number to hit on me? <laughs> Sorry, the sun is peeking through my window and, like, blinding me. So I'm trying to avoid, uh, burning my retinas. Um. Okay, um. Say I don't have a membership. You don't have a membership? Uh, no. <laughs> then why did you even come to this market? 
It's the only one in town. I need to finish my desert painting. <laughs> oh, please spare my soul, wise store clerk. <laughs> All right, fine. But on one condition, robot to robot. Anything. You have to go out with me tonight, but you have a fiance. <laughs> uh, what? Oh no, we've just established that I'm engaged, Morpheus. <laughs> right, sorry. I meant you could meet me in town tonight. Didn't you hear about the carnival reopening? Uh, what carnival? You must not get out enough, darling. My friend Vivian is the ringmaster there with his boyfriend, Dexter. It was closed for a while after some switching in staff, but now Vivian is one of the only, is the only one in charge of the whole theme park. So, now the entire carnival is run by a robot. Practice, practically all living celebration. What, practically a living celebration of how far we've come since the failed revolt. Shut the front door. <laughs> no, I will not. The door will remain open. <laughs> Jack Jackson! Hearing about it loud. I'm starting to regret letting people know my full name. <laughs> Never mind that. You're lying. There's no way they'd just let an unsupervised robots roam free roam freely through uh, freely enough to run an entire carnival. I'm telling you, it's true. The ringmaster was a human named Sophie, and although she was brilliant and beautiful in every show, she couldn't keep it up long enough to fight off a fatal illness. After the death, she, uh, her clearly, her will clearly explained that what she wanted, which was her own robot, Vivian, to run the theme park on his own. She wanted him to host the circus shows and learn to work the cast of humans and mutants that were left. Considering the carnival was her property, along with Vivian and the other humans and mutants, performers already hired, nobody could do anything to change her statements without breaking the law. So, there you have it. No front door shutting at all. A robot owns a circus. Wow, that's a lot to take in. You really think that someone could be able to surmise su sur summarize a bit more? What? You really think that someone could be able to summarize a bit more so you think so you could go on with your life instead of sitting here just listening to that for so long. <laughs> what do you think I am? A professional, professionally literate story writer? Where would anyone find one of those? <laughs> Good point. <laughs> uh, <coughs> Sorry, my nose is running so bad right now. It, it always happens whenever I stop talking. I start talking. Uh. So, is that a yes to my offer? You aren't quite sure what to say, you just met this guy and the offering to take you to a carnival sounded pretty suspicious, but something about this guy just felt right. Or wrong. I mean, he does he does have a, a hatred for humanity. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm highly suspicious of him, <laughs> if you can't tell. <laughs> I was, it was a feeling you couldn't place until a familiar hum from your chest reminded you of your mission. The amulet seems to be reacting to Jack's presence, and it was possible he may be one of the seven you're supposed to find. Or not. <laughs> he did have an unusual hatred towards humanity, after all. That could be your lead to his sin. Not wanting to waste any more time, you quickly agree. Sure, sounds like fun. Uh, and I can't wait to see this ringmaster with my own eyes. Wonderful. He's a great guy, really. I can't wait for you to meet him. See you in a few hours? Definitely. I can get directions to the carnival from the posters around town, so I guess I'll see you there after sunset? Sounds perfect. Good luck with your shopping, darling. Thanks. <laughs> Not wanting to spend too much time just wandering aimlessly, you then pass through the now unlocked barrier and find uh, and finally get into the market itself now that you've actually managed to get into the marketplace you start uh, you start seeing more people around the shop aisles uh, you s you have Jack as a good lead but there has to be something else here for you to work with scanning through the aisles there are only uh, three groups of people you can spot 
To the right of this door, there are two human-sized, uh, two, two human-sized, two human citizens. They seem to be discussing something important, so maybe you could get information from them. Yet on the left is an odd man observing a variety of weapons. He's pretty short, so probably not much of a threat, but it was still strange to see such a cheerful man looking through the metal rifles. <laughs> <laughs> Near the store exit, there is a police officer. He seems to be guarding the doorway, and considering he looks uh, pretty bitter, approaching him could lead to problems due to you being a machine. Maybe, if you make the right choice, it will save you the trouble of getting in the guard's nerves. He is keeping a watchful eye over the customers, after all, and that includes you. Which way will you go? Ah, fucking. Okay, um, let's talk to the guy who's, uh, kind of getting excited about the guns. Uh, hello, I hope I'm not bothering you, but I have a quick question. The man turns to face you, instantly offering a friendly grin to greet you. Oh my goodness, he's so cute. Look at him, he's- oh yes, I love you. Oh my, the only thing bothering me would be if I didn't thank you for having such good manners. Oh. My name is Jerome, and I must say I am truly impressed. Most like, uh, most like you are nearly as polite. Uh, is this because I'm a robot? What? Heavens no. I just meant teens your age <laughs> are normally moping around or angry. Except your, except our boy, I suppose. Uh, my two boys are drastically different. Jeremy is just a shy sweetheart and writes such lovely poems, and his big brother is a professional stunt pilot. I'm just so proud of Herc. Wait, I'm sorry. Uh, you were about to say something, were you? Is this Herc's dad? Fuck, hell. Uh, actually, yes, thank you. I was wondering if you've heard anything suspicious around here, if you don't mind me asking. Although, I don't mind you asking at all. I'm afraid there hasn't been anything strange I've seen. Um, we do live in a city that floats in the sky, after all, since uh, there isn't much to be surprised by anymore. <laughs> Boy, me too. Uh, thanks. It, uh, what? No. Okay, thanks. Uh, I should probably finish my shopping now, though. Oh, uh, what are you looking for? Wait, why is <laughs> why is this happy, sweet person looking at guns? <laughs> Uh, just some paints, that's all. Really? Why don't I help you then? I come to this market almost every week. Know exactly where to look. That's very nice of you. I'd appreciate the help. Uh, with Jerome's guidance, your, uh, your shopping is finished within less than half an hour. Yet, as you head towards the exit with your new friend, the guard still stops you. But instead of looking towards you, he is, his focus is on Jerome. Oh, okay. Is everything all right today, Jerome? Absolutely, Scotty. I even made a new friend. Is that so? Uh, this is my husband, er, Scott. Oh, I'm so sorry. I never got your name. That's okay. My name is Morphus. Aw, you must be the artist Copper's always talking about. Wait, did you say Copper? I did. Do you know him? He's my older brother. <laughs> Copper did say he has a lot of siblings. <laughs> How cute! Sorry, it's just so nice to finally meet you. I've uh, heard so much about your paintings and your commissions. Jerome, <laughs> I can't believe this is really you. You really do love pink. Jerome. <laughs> oh, it's such a pleasure. <laughs> Jerome! Huh? The excited man happily turns his attention back towards his husband, smiling cheerfully, almost, uh, most likely oblivious to the volume Scott had just reached to get him to stop his rambling. We need to get back to the station now. My shift's nearly over and we need to pick up Jeremy from his own practice. Oh, right. Uh, wow. I'm sorry to leave you in such a rush, Morphus, but we really must go. That's okay. I'll see you around. As the couple left the store, a brief relief, uh leaves you, and you nearly fall over, completely winded from Jerome's energy. He's like a soccer mom, but amplified somehow. <laughs> Maybe soccer dads are just too overpowering. 
they could easily wipe out the government, let's be honest here. <laughs> Uh, they just barge into the king's office and start screaming about why their kids should have scored in last week's game. <laughs> and watch the political leaders crumble under the pressure. Bam. World domination on the bucket list. <laughs> Shoot, wait. The sun's already setting outside. You should probably get home before it's too dark. That way you can at least let mom where you know where you're going. <laughs> The sunset has passed, and now the city is buzzing with electricity uh, to light the streets. Uh, you can't- you just can't believe you spent all day at the market. You woke up at the right time of three in the afternoon, so how is it already so late? <laughs> oh, that is too much of a mood. Actually, now that you think about it, maybe you should start waking up earlier. Yeah. But as you, uh, you near your home, a certain stand catches your attention once more. After such a strange encounter, maybe asking the duo for advice would be a good idea. They need to, uh, they knew you'd meet Jack, didn't they? Maybe the two could help you along on your journey. How are we doing on time? Pretty good. Um, yet, the, yet at the same time, they could be very dangerous with magic like that. It really scares you. What should you do? Um. Yeah, I want to see Poncho Kitty again. <laughs> Maybe it wouldn't hurt. Suddenly, you receive a warning message through your database from your mother. She's asking where you are. Shoot. Maybe I should head home after all. You head home and... Nope. You aren't doing that. What? This is my game, Morphus. I decide where the player can go. <laughs> Besides, we're solving some mysteries here. <laughs> You're gonna theorize a bit, uh, ask questions, look through material outside the game for answers, take quizzes to continue the game. Oh, it'll be so much fun. It took you long enough to get back here. <laughs> Hi again! <laughs> What's going on? Wait. Wasn't it just nighttime? Oh, whoops, that's my bad. Let me try to transition again, real quick. <laughs> there we go. There, that's much better, isn't it? The stars look so pretty, Rain. Thank you, I made them myself. Oh, I just fucking realized this is the creator. <laughs> the creator's name is Rainbot. Oh, man. Dude, you are great. <laughs> okay, not really. My friend Blue did it, but that doesn't matter now. You think you can skip our scenes in this game without a bit of feedback? What are you talking about? We have a job for you! A very important one, too. Alright, what is it? This game's universe is a mess, kid. There's so much history behind that behind it that the player probably barely knows what's going on. So, oh no, that's Poncho Kitty. So instead of just dropping hints everywhere, we're actually gonna help them learn about it. I'm not gonna lie, I was gonna be, it was gonna get pretty tough, but hey, by passing our test, uh, you show them, uh, you show that you are worthy of playing my game and learning more about the characters. Oh, fuck. <laughs> That's something only a very dedicated gamer could do. But it'd still be fun! This is ridiculous. Hey, you want to save the world, don't you? For your god friend and stuff. Of course I do. Pen needs my help, and so do the other six spirits. Spirits. I swear, I swear to you that I'll save sev the seven of us, and we can stop the end from coming. Nice, but solving these mysteries with us will help you find the seven spirits faster. Also, I like the boost in confidence, kid. We're here to help you save the world, Morphus. But we need you to- What? But we need you to get home soon. So for- n Oh, nope, that's rain. <laughs> so for now, we'll make the first test quick. A very simple question. Just to show you how the test will work. All you need to do is answer the right question and type your answer. Press the enter key when you're ready to answer us, but 
if you're wrong, you will not be allowed to continue playing the game. I'm going to save right fucking here because I don't know if this uh, is going to be case sensitive. <laughs> But don't worry, you have an unlimited amount of attempts available. <laughs> now, here's your first question. Please use all lowercase letters, okay. I don't need any capitals flooding the screen. What is your favorite color, Morphus? Input code here. Pink. Yay! That is correct. Do I get a gold star? <laughs> that is correct. Um, perfect. Fantastic job to the both of you. The both of us? Oh, oh, I want to try a code too. What is my ro robot friend name? Friend's name. Remember, he doesn't like the capital letters in your answers. Um, Rain? That's right again, yeah! <laughs> Fabulous. Absolutely fantastic. Now you're ready for our tests. Strap in, kiddo. This game's about to go off the rails. Fuck. <laughs> Wait. I still have a lot of questions for you. Don't worry, our stand will always be on your way to the car- Well, what? We'll be here. We'll still be here on your way to the carnival. Stop by if you have any questions. If you'd rather just continue the story without our interruption and you don't have any questions for us, feel free to s just walk by instead. <laughs> <laughs> now you will- Now you better get home. Mom is worried sick. Oh, that's great. I love those, too. See you soon. Yeah, man. Hell yeah. After the strange encounter, you find yourself standing back in your living room. You don't really remember ta uh, walking back here, but your mom approaches you before you can gather your thoughts. Oh, look at her. She's precious. Morphus, I was worried about- I was- I was worried you wouldn't stop home to check in. I, uh... I mean, sorry, Mom. It's It's been a crazy day. It's alright. I understand. Thinking of the god in your new amulet. Oh, no. That's not Mom. That's, uh... That's narrator. <laughs> Thinking of the god in your new amulet and the two magic using shop u shop owners that want you... what That want you going on some sort of epic quest, you really doubt she has any clue what you're going on going through. I'd just like to apologize. For what? Sometimes I worry that I may be a bit hard on you, but it's only because I'm worried. It's okay, Mom. It's good, don't worry. <laughs> you wouldn't understand it. You were only in your early phases of de development when it happened. Uh, was it something with Copper? Or even Sky? No. It was your father. I don't like talking about it, but I suppose you should know for your own safety. Your father was just like you when he was young, curious about the world, and kind towards everyone in it. He never did stop surprising me, even with a huge help, and what, and even was a huge help in the lab, solving equations that could have taken me weeks and seconds. But when he had begun to grow interested in the dark forms of magic and energy, he wandered off to explore dangerous territory, becoming too ambitious for his own good. The poor guy never stopped working, and even after I warned him of magic's danger, he kept going. I never knew why magic caught his attention. I didn't know anything about his family, his past, or what drove him to such insanity. But when I came home one day, he had completely vanished after cast casting a fatal spell. Why are you telling me this now? Because while I was cleaning the house today, one of my scanners picked up a strong amount of uh, magic in your bedroom. The amulet's cool surface pressed against your chest reminded you of what she's talking about, and you begin to grow anxious. I don't mind you reading about magic, but please promise me you'll stay away from it. I just don't want you getting hurt. Well, that's a problem. You need to help Penn stop his brother, and you're already- you already don't have much time. Yeah, I have two fucking days left, Ben. <laughs> Especially now that Rain and Poncho Kitty are planning to help you solve mysteries while you help the god, there's no chance you can stay away from magic now. 
What will you tell her? <sighs> Fuck. Um. No, I guess I'll try. What are we doing on time? Okay. I guess I'll try. Yes. <laughs> your mother seems to glance away for a moment as if lost in thought after your reply. Her glasses hide her eyes, so you aren't sure of what she may be thinking of. After a minute of silence has passed, she finally smiles back to you. Uh, she never drops the grin, so you never really know what's on her mind. But for now, she seems genuine. I guess that's really all I could hope for now. So, will you be getting ready to watch TV with the others? Actually, I made a new friend at the market today. Oh, really? Who would that be? It's actually kind of funny. His name is Jack Jackson. Great, right? Jackson? I've heard that name somewhere before. His fiance is an inventor. Maybe that's where you heard them? Ah, yes. Now I remember. In that case, I will admit that you have good taste in people, Morpheus. Having a friend like that, it will be good for you. Really? Wow. Thank you. Yes, it's always good to have a friend who is constantly going on about how much he hates humanity. <laughs> he's not constantly going on about it, but he's always saying, like, darling, so... <laughs> no problem, Morpheus. Now, if you plan on going out to town with that Jack fella tonight, I approve the choice and hope you have a great time. As your mother heads up the stairs, presumably back to her laboratory, the door behind you creaks open, showing two bro showing your two brothers returning from their shift. Yay! The two guards look completely exhausted and were currently what and were currently discussing some sort of plan as they stepped through the doorway. Yet, when the duo noticed you standing near, they came over to greet you instead of wrapping up their their discussion. Closing my freaking window. It's killing my eyeballs. It hurts, guys. It's painful. Okay, there we go. Come on. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Hello, Morpheus. Hi, you guys. Yeah, welcome home, you two dorks. Oh my god, what? When did you get here? <laughs> Just now? <laughs> but how? Oh, forget it. I have seen too many weird things today, and you're the last person I tried, I'd try to question. Heh, <laughs> fair enough. What about you two? Rough day? Yeah, we had to capture another group of rebel bots, and they were not afraid to get violent. It totally sucked. <laughs> Sky, watch your language. <laughs> Considering that you're referring to the vocal form of speech, I can't see or watch it. What do you want me to do? Build something to sit on and watch what sound waves I look like? God, Copper, you're a huge loser sometimes. Uh, <laughs> that was very rude. Yeah, you're gonna cut someone with that edgy attitude. I think that's just like an amount of salt. <laughs> Like a huge amount of salt. <laughs> Whatever. Aside from Sky's wor uh, world recording amount of sarcasm, did anything else big happen? I was actually about to ask you the same thing. Well, I hate to disappoint you, but me and Herc just went to the local bots tavern after the stunt. Uh, after the stunt show, his folks were shopping, so it's pretty un uneventful. Oh, shoot. Wait, I'm sorry, guys. I really have to get going now. Where are you going this late? I've made a new- I made a new friend today. He asked me to meet him at the carnival. Is he a nice guy, or should I kick him into orbit? <laughs> We're asking you how. <laughs> no, no, it's not that kind of meetup. We're just friends. He's already engaged. Alright, cool. I just don't want you chasing any more guys after what happened with Fletcher. Mr. Metal Hands has a real bad influence on you, bro. Uh, that might be true, but this is Morpheus's decision. Morpheus. I keep saying Morpheus. It's Morpheus! Ugh. If you want to go out with your friend, go ahead. But if you, uh, have to stay safe. What? But you have to stay safe or I'll punch you. <laughs> Ugh, you guys are so dainty. 
have fun coughing up more friendship magic, whatever. I'm going to bed. <laughs> why do you always have to go to bed so early? You don't need to charge that much, so what gives? Oh, I didn't tell you? Then it must be none of your business. <laughs> Holy fuck. Good night, losers. Stay safe and whatever. <laughs> Sky, that was very rude. Hey, don't ignore me. Your two oldest brothers continue to bicker as they chase each other upstairs, Bella watching with a laid-back air as the chaos uh, began to unfold. Not wanting to get wrapped up in this any longer, you quickly step outside and flee the scene. Okay, what time are we at? Alright, so uh, we are going to cut this video here. Um... Uh, just before we go out to the carnival. Uh, yes. So this is the end of the video. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed as much as I enjoyed uh, playing this game. It is really, really good and cute, and I love it. <laughs> um, yeah, man, this is great. Oh, man, I can't wait to play more. I'm gonna save real quick. <laughs> just real quick. Um... But yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. If you want to see more videos, uh, there will be a link in the description. Not description. Uh, there will be a thing at the end of uh, this video in the end card. Um, in the description will be a link to the game where you can download it. Um, it is, it's like, I don't know if any of you had seen me play Boyfriend to Death, but it's kind of like that download process. Um, it just, it's, it's. It was made by somebody um, who uh, was friends with the person who suggested this game to me, so it's it's really good. I really like it for like an independent game kind of thing. It's really good. <laughs> um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Uh, if you did like it, please like, comment, and subscribe. I am actually almost at 180 subscribers, so thank you guys so much for getting me there. I'm so excited. Um, I'm so glad people like what I make. <laughs> it, it's a great feeling. Um, but yeah, um, so I will see you all in the next one um, of Dolber Quest, where we will be um, exploring um, uh, the carnival part. And yeah, so I'll see you all in the next one. Bye! <laughs>